Okay, so what's going on, Jimmers, and welcome back to uh, the Stanley Parable uh, Ultra Deluxe. I know it says two every time I do this, but it's okay. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so I can reach 25 subscribers. Please, that'd be very wonderful, and I could enjoy that very tremendously. So, here we go. We're going to do another one of the endings. Let's see if I can actually get there. I need to get to uh, a certain part of the area, and it's not going to be easy. This is the story of a man named... Clip to skip. Nope. Don't care. Oh, I can't... Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay. So what All I need to do... Gone. What could it mean? Is... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That I don't need to do. We're gonna do the uh, one of the when crazier came endings. To a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Uh, I think there's a door on the right. This was not ending. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley right. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps so he wanted a to stop by the ending I need to do first, just to admire it. Another specific ah, ending to do. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. I gotta go straight over. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay, so what I need to do is uh, go in here. Mm -hmm. This is where I need to be. Huh. So this is one of the the uh, endings Stanley I need had to do. Stanley had gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off. The oh beaten yeah. Path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Oh okay. So Lost cat. There's a reward. The begun, so His name is uh. That it seemed the office had begun. So so far off the beaten path. Gene. That it seemed the office had begun. Something like so that. So I don't. Know. I don't know. His name. That it seemed the I'm office sorry had if begun, this is repeating. So so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun. So so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun. Begun. So so far off the beaten. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises <laughs> and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Right. Okay. Well, that happened. Okay, so that was one of the endings. I gotta find another one now. Okay, got it. All right, so what I need to do is uh, I think I might have to go back to the gone. lift. What could it mean? Stanley so, decided yep. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he yep, had simply yep, missed yep, a yep. memo. I gotta go do the lift thing. Uh, this is the phone ending, by the way. I have no idea if I did the phone ending with you guys, uh, but I'm gonna do the phone ending. Perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, I bet I did. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley so took the go first back open door again. on his left. Not go here. Right. All right. So Stanley was so again. bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, I believe I have to go all the way to the, the, to the, uh, the end here. Okay, so yeah, I have to go to that room over there. The end. Okay. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else. I think there's like two ways you can do with the phone. The is you can either turn it off or uh, answer it. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can answer it, but I think this one I'm gonna 
Someone you forgot. Try answering. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is your story. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. <laughs> That's Here's her, the Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to... Yep. So there's two ways you could do this, I bet, it seems like. Oh, Stanley, oh. is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right, okay. Right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually <laughs> think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point Why here, Why do they Stanley. use a female type? I'm trying type. to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Okay. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you can't go that way. Okay. Oh, and the, uh, oh. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? Uh. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I don't know why they used it. Why is they use that? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly yeah. what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. <laughs> Surprising that they used a, a, a female mannequin. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he's going on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley <laughs> dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Right. Oh. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined <laughs> that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, Everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought oh, guy. excited him terribly. See? So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. <laughs> the mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, oh. he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down uh, one oh, path God. lay an enormous floor round is dirty. room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. And... It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, <laughs> that he might Something's always feel here. this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is yeah. no answer. How could there possibly be? Oh, she's reality, gone now. All he's doing is pushing uh, the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he uh, spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets <laughs> which life is the real one. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, and he... I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here. Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. 
You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll oh, understand okay. that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill uh, okay. himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Oh, okay. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not okay. so different, I <laughs> that, was, that was very I'll strange. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. <laughs> and I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Okay. And we're back at the beginning. Yep. Okay, so that was the phone ending. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same phone ending. Um, this but this gone. time, what could it we're not going to answer Stanley the phone. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Why is there a balloon in the seat? That's very strange. All right, whatever. But the fact is that the story has been. I know about there's a fast forward ending. I just don't know if I'm going to get there. Yeah, there's get someone to it. you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten, someone about. forgotten about. Please, Please. stop trying to make every yeah, decision yeah, yeah, yeah. by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Mm -hmm. Did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did yep. you do that? You actually yep. Yep. chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no, I am not 100% sure Tuesday. Stanley if I did do this. Phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these <laughs> decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How have I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real Stanley. person. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision-making. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's oh, the it's best this. part of being a real person. Okay. But if used incorrectly, it can also be so the I think most I did dangerous. Do this before. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world no, to I'm make life better for out. all people. Or he could spend years of hard work <sighs> forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making no, no, process. No, 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 no. Da, no Most no. medical professionals no, recommend no, making no, at least no. eight choices per day. Do you, you don't make do that more with an alligator. Eight, less? You don't ever do that with an alligator. Finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of oh space, God. your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling oh. should subside. At this time, okay. your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Right. Uh, welcome back. Oh. 
You oh, okay, we're noticed, here now. But this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay. Uh Right, okay. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Right. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm not let me do that. That's fine. There's a key card here. Wonder where it is. See if I don't already know. All right. <laughs> We're just going backwards. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Yeah, I highly doubt that, but okay. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means okay. choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. <laughs> Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it... Well, <laughs> it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game oh down God. entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I'm not I... fully sure if I did this no, I have to. Uh, during the I have to the, shut uh, the game down. I have gameplay. to. Gameplay. I have to. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're shut down now. Oh. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. <laughs> yeah. Can I yep. impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't <laughs> even occurred to you, had it? That there's a mm. world outside of you? You're a child. Oh. My story. <sighs> If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... <laughs> ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. 
All right. <clears throat> Can I dare do when it again? When Stanley came to a set of two oh, no. doors, he <laughs> entered the door on his left. Um, I don't know. Do I dare do it again? I guess. Let's, let's cooperate. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, he locked it. Oh, okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Can I go this in here? No? Well, let me. Okay. What about the, uh, these doors? Nope. Okay. What about, uh, the bridge path? Pages. <laughs> Oh, this is different. I wonder if I can just close it. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was okay. once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Nightshark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 166. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I don't think you would let me do that, but. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark okay, 115. Fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. <laughs> the kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two other oh. doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. The I end. need you to yep. walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you <laughs> hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. <laughs> I am outside the plane. I'm on top of the box. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this, Danny? Are you there? <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. 
I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, do I have to like restart it? Okay. No, it just does it for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was both paths of uh, the phone ending, pretty much. I mean, they probably have like two separate names for them, but you know, whatever. Okay, I'm not sure if this one is even present right now. Uh, it's called the content, the new content ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? But uh, let's Stanley see if it actually to go works to the out. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then he got eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, uh, really. Not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay, so this is the area now, I keep carefully. This is uh, forgetting about. Stanley walked through the red door. I think I'm gonna actually cooperate for this one, so. Um, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew Okay, now, but now well. I'm kind of bad living right stop now. By the I don't know what to do first, anymore. Just to admire so, it. I, I, I really wish butterflies in his stomach, but eager to get back to business. I, re I really, really wish I could. Uh, his left. I'm gonna go back uh, to the. Uh, the double Stanley was so bad at color doors. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. And see how it goes. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. I don't know how to get the co new content gone. in. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's supposed to be like right here. I don't really know. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Um, oh, okay, I got it. Okay, so Adam, out of map ending is what I'm gonna do. So. All of his co-workers were. Wait, no, this isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then oh played the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, right. now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet?
Uh... Ah, then in that case we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never <laughs> would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the oh other God. option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well, <laughs> I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay, let's try that again then. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else I can do, so... Alright, let's try this again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Goodbye, crew world. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the okay. nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative. So this tropes. time I'm going to see, so, say yes, even though it's pointless. Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right <laughs> now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, <laughs> yeah. all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying oh what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. <laughs> there once was a man named Stanley. Who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. <laughs> what Stanley oh, liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which oh. is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. <laughs> you too will become quite unbearable. Oh my god. Are we done? Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. All right. 
hopefully that new content uh, board is uh, visible now. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nope, still not here. Okay. There's gotta be... But Stanley some... simply couldn't handle the pressure. Oh. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under I his responsibility? Okay. Did I, did I not realize I could close the door? <laughs> no. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. I didn't. But the one I didn't thing know he knew for sure, the door. beyond any <laughs> doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little <laughs> bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. It changed perception. It per uh, not perception. It changed uh, direction again. Uh, I won't let me close it. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I'm going to have time for. Um, that's the uh, end for this one. Uh, hit that like button. Also subscribe so we could reach 25 subscribers, please. That'd be wonderful. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'll try and see if I can get that uh, that new content door open because I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know how to get that new content door back. It's so confusing. But uh, anyways. Uh, there's not that many uh, parts to this, so it's probably not going to be as long as as I'm making out to be. It's like a, it says like it's an hour nine, which is not going to happen. So, anyways, that's the end of this one. Hit that like button. Also subscribe so we reach 25 subscribers. Like I said, I don't know why I'm repeating this, but uh, yeah. And uh, anyways, bye.